Hey kids. Okay, so today I'm going to go over how to draw a ship and I'm going to put the ship facing this direction and then I'm probably going to draw like an island back here looking like the ship has left the island maybe to go for a cruise. And I'm going to start by making kind of where the front of the ship is going to go and then also the back of the ship is going to go. And the ship's going to be pretty large and in the foreground. Maybe I'll bring it down a little bit here and here. And it's going to be nested down in the water. But that doesn't mean it has to be at the top of the water. So my ship might be in the water here, but my you know, horizon line might still be up here. That's really going to be up to you. And then I'm going to have a sloping piece here to come down from the top of the ship to the bottom. And then I'll put some lines here to show that the water has gone around the ship. Now, for this, the very front, I'm going to have a point where this is now the other side of the ship. So this side of the ship and that side of the ship. And then I'm going to have a seam here for kind of the design. Now, these little you know, portal looking windows look so fun on boats. And I'm gonna put them on. And I think I'm gonna bring this end down into the water a little more. So I'll have it stop about there. And then I'm gonna have some detailing back here. This doesn't have to be too exact. It can just kind of look like, you know, parts of the boat or, um, you know, different levels that passengers can walk out on, maybe balconies. And then the steam stacks. So for this, I'm going to make sure each one of them is rounded at the top like that. That's because we're looking at it up. So it's going to be rounded this way. Make each of these a cylinder. So I'll have two sides here, straight up and down, same thing here, I'm going to overlap that a little more, and then maybe one here. You could put four in if you want, I'm going to stop at three. All right, now let's go over this with some Sharpie lines and then I'll add in some background. So if this is the, the water line, right, maybe the sun is setting here, I could put an island back here and have it look like the ship has left the island. And the smaller the detailing on the island, the further away it will appear. So if your island is large, and let's say you make, you know, big palm trees on it, it's going to look like the ship just left. But if you have, you know, like a mountain on it that makes it look super far away because the mountain is super small, then it's going to look like it left that island a while ago. It's also going to look a little bit more believable because if you don't have a port for a large, you know, ship to come into, it'll look like it just kind of came around the island because it wouldn't be able to stop there. I don't know if I want a mountain on mine though. I don't know. I might keep that simple. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my Sharpie, outline the lines I want to keep. You know I want this. And then, I want that. And then this just is the other side of the boat. We don't see much. It's 
hard for me to see what I'm doing because <laughs> the, the camera's over the picture. So I'm kind of looking at it from the side. Now this is going to be fun because you can draw these, um, you know, like steam stacks with steam or smoke or whatever you want to be coming out of them. And I don't really want to put them in in Sharpie, but I think I'm going to put them in in color. Now, I'll have to have the water line kind of break like this, right? You know the other thing that's fun about this kind of like large boat is that dolphins often jump alongside of it. You could put some dolphins jumping in your water. Let's put a horizon line in. I'm going to imagine the line goes behind the boat. And come out the other side and then I'll put my island line in. I'm gonna make this organic. Now I can kind of figure out what I want to do with that but I think I'm gonna play around with that later. Okay so I'm going to pause the video, erase my pencil, put in some basic color and show you how I'm handling the color. Okay, so here's how I filled in my colors. I used a lot of the side of a crayon. You know how I like to take the wrapper off so that I can use the side sort of rubbing style and it covers it quickly and easily. And then I made the island have some, you know, island detailing but look kind of distant. And I put my, you know, smoke, um, I started out with a little bit heavier pressure and then got lighter so that it looked like it was sort of disseminating and blowing backward so it looked like the ship was pushing forward. And then the rest of it I just did with some basic colors for the sky and the water, but again, this would be a lot of fun if you developed it with like, you know, sea creatures in the water that you could see, um, octopus, squid, you know, the dolphins jumping, and maybe there's a sea monster swimming next to it. it could be so fun. All right, kids, have a lot of fun with this and take care.